Welcome to the course introduction. My name is Michael Ward and I will be your instructor. This is the SAP Business Objects Web Intelligence 4.2 Report Design Level 1 course and it is a two-day course. What we're going to cover today is we're going to start with an overview of the BI Launchpad portal. This is very critical because this is the home for all of your reports and documents that you save. We're going to be creating queries and query filters. Along with that, we'll be coming into complex filters and how they can be integrated into the creating query process. We're going to be formatting reports and utilizing the speed menu to do things like duplicate a report, uh, add a new report, move a report left or right, and other types of things that you can do that are all part of the speed menu functionality. And we're going to introduce reporting functions, including some very important ones like ranking, breaking, which is one of the most popular ones that you will use. We'll get into outlining, which you might recognize from the Excel side. We'll have sorting and grouping. And we'll also be covering things like local filtering and building simple calculations. These are your typical sum, count, average, min, max percent that so many of us are already familiar with, especially coming from the Excel world. One of the big topics we're going to cover is conditional formatting. This allows us to take a column and change its color of the actual cell value based on various conditions. It can make your report stand out much more and it gives you a much more powerful way of building those complex reports. We're going to have lab exercises throughout the course to reinforce all the concepts and to give you a chance to practice. We'll be converting blocks utilizing the templates and a very popular feature called Turn Into. This allows us to instantly convert blocks into other types of blocks. Those could be reports or charts or combinations thereof. And we'll be creating very complex charts. In actuality, we'll be covering simple charts all the way through complex charts and we'll be integrating in some of the different functions that we'll be covering as were mentioned earlier. And of course, part of that will also include complex query filters, including prompts, and we're going to learn how to mix and match AND and OR conditions together. This becomes a very important part of advanced query filtering, being able to layer my condition statements with both a combination of an AND and an OR. We're going to work with more complex cross-table reports and apply various report functions to those cross-tables. One of the big things is to create what are called input controls or input control gadgets, apply those to reports and charts, and provide an easy way for an end user to do dynamic filtering. And we'll learn how to apply more advanced conditional formatting features to a cross-tab report as well. We're going to be working with the BI Launchpad right up front and you'll learn how to work extensively with that Launchpad and that's going to be important because that's where all of our documents get stored. We're going to build queries working with filters. Those would be simple queries and we'll grow all the way into more complex filters. We're going to use the new copy and paste functionality to copy components or objects or blocks, any one of those, between different reports uh, within documents itself as well. And we'll utilize the speed menu and formatting to really make our reports stand out. And we're going to learn how to apply a variety of reporting functions to those blocks as well. And we're going to apply calculations, your simple sum, count, average, min, max, percentage, the typical calculations that we're all used to with other products, and later on we'll get into more advanced calculations as well. And we're going to introduce conditional formatting throughout all the different report block types. And particularly we're going to concentrate on the master detail reports where conditional formatting really allows us to create some outstanding reports. So what we'll be able to do is to create a variety of report format types. We're not limited just to the typical Excel-like report, but things like cross tables and form documents and financial reports as well. And we'll create a variety of charts, simple pie charts, complex 3D column charts, double line charts, radar charts. These are all among the many different types that are available to us. And we'll create complex condition utilizing prompts. Prompts is an amazing feature in the product it provides us with a way of delivering some very complex prompting for my users to do more powerful and more effective types of calculations. And we'll create complex cross tables as part of this. 
and then we're going to apply the various formatting options including reporting functions, input controls, and even conditional formatting to cross table blocks. All that's required for this course is basic window skills. And what does that mean? Number one, you have to be able to utilize the control or shift key for multi-selecting and use your mouse to drag those individual objects or blocks onto your report tab as you develop your different types of reports and charts. The standard registered trademarks and copyrights are as follows. We cover it for Microsoft as well as Oracle and all other product and company names mentioned herein are trademarks of their respective owners. Now the module topics will be as follows. We're going to start with the Web Intelligence 4.2 overview. We need to understand all the pieces that comprise the Business Objects Web Intelligence Reporting Tool and that's part of what the overview will do. We're going to co concentrate on the BI Launchpad portal. Why? Because this is where all of our documents will reside as we save them and build new reports. We'll learn how to build the queries, very important part. How do we build that basic query, create that simple report, and then modify it? And we're going to add in query filters so that we can filter the data that we need or filter out the data that we don't need. You could think of query filters as being both inclusive and exclusive. We're going to talk about complex filters, not only ands and ors, but other types of complex filtering conditions as well and even utilizing prompts as part of that. And we'll learn how to save documents. This is very important. Why? Because I need to save it not only as a Webby document, but I need to save into the other format types for users that don't have access to the Web Intelligence Reporting Tool. So options like Excel, text, CSV, or even PDF are all part of that family that comprise saving documents. We're going to utilize the speed menu where we can go down to the bottom of a report tab and duplicate or add or delete or even move the reports around to put the report tabs in a different order. We'll learn how to format the reports from the most basic to the most complex. We'll apply advanced formatting as well. Part of that indirectly will include conditional formatting, but in general just some of the more advanced formatting features that you can take advantage of as part of Webby. We'll introduce ranking and breaking, two very popular functions. I want to break my reports for grouping purposes, probably the number one function that you will see utilized by the typical end user. We'll do outlining and sorting. Outlining you might recognize from the Excel side. Yes, it works the same way. No, they do not talk to each other. We'll get into simple sorting all the way up to advanced sorting. And we're going to introduce functions all the different reporting functions, some of which we've highlighted already. And then we'll get into specific cell formatting to take the contents of a cell and format it in a variety of different ways, whether it's text or background or combinations thereof, all of that comprises the cell formatting area. And we're going to create text and variable rules. When we get into conditional formatting, I can do the cell formatting, but I can also introduce things like custom text messages, things like a red or a green stoplight, and variable rules that allow me to display different objects from my universe based on conditions. Both of these options are very popular as part of the conditional formatting family. And then we're going to have exercises throughout again for the reinforcement process so that you can learn how to properly use these different tools. And of course we'll create a variety of report block types we're not limited just to the typical Excel-like column report as we know as a vertical table, but we'll create cross tables and financial blocks and form documents and other types that are all available to me as part of the product. We're going to create sectioned reports. This is one of those major features that so many people really don't take advantage of. It's really a master detail report is what a sectioned report is. And when you see it during the course what you can do with it, you'll be amazed at how you can create those very complex reports. We're going to create different types of charts. Now we're all familiar with simple pie charts, but we need more than that. I need 3D column charts. I need things like two line charts, area charts, um, all within the category of charts. And there are a whole host of different chart types that are covered in different areas of the course. And we're going to create complex query filters. As we've discussed earlier, mixing ands and ors, uh, we're going to bring in prompts and other things like that to make it a truly, truly more advanced level query filter. 
We're going to use ands and ors as part of that process. And we're going to apply it to intermediate and advanced cross tables as well, as well as get in some of the more advanced formatting that's inherent with cross tables in particular. And we're going to introduce something called input controls. These are gadgets that were brought down from the Excelsius dashboarding product a long time ago that allow us to create simple end user filtering objects like radio buttons and check boxes and list boxes. So a typical end user, maybe in only the view version of Webby, can still do simple filtering and print off their simple reports. We'll get into conditional formatting, which is such a major component or a major feature of the product. Now the curriculum path that we're going to follow will guide you down the path for certification from SAP and what it comprises or what it is comprised of. Number one, the SAP Business Objects Webby 4.2 Report Design Level 1 course here that you're currently in and this is the two-day course and then you'll follow it up with the Level 2 course which takes us through the more advanced topics and those truly are advanced topics critical to certification as well. And that'll include things like advanced calculations and formulas. It will include things like multiple data providers. It will include things like hiding blocks and hiding cells and hiding sections, all part of the more advanced level, level two uh, course that gives you that extra set of tools that you need to pass the 4.2 certification. You'll need your student guide, number one, so make sure that you download the student guide. You'll also need the exercise guide, and this is very, very critical. The exercise guide will guide you through the hands-on sessions where we go through all of the major workshops to show you exactly how to complete those workshops and highlighting and reinforcing all of the various concepts that we've introduced. And that would be on your course materials tab. Now that we've completed the overview, let's get started.